Rinse, wash, repeat. No water leaves this plant that has not been processed. Mine water is notorious for containing hazardous minerals and chemicals. It's the hardest of the hard, hard water. We're actually trying to pr produce a water that is really pleasant, pleasant to the eye and also water that is very clear and meets all state and federal regulations. To do that, employees at the water treatment plant have developed a state-of-the-art facility with some cutting-edge technology. Most of the work is done in this area right here. After the water is pumped from 6,200 feet down, its first stop is a series of multimedia filters comprised of four different layers. After about 22 minutes, the water heads to the sludge tank. All the dirty water comes into this tank. We had a very light amount of coagulant and a very light amount of a flocculant. We mix it up, we let it settle out. All that brown stuff in the bottom is iron. This plant, or this part of the plant, this tank, was designed by the crew that works here. And this isn't the only stop the crew has had to innovate. That is an RBC, Rotating Biological Contactor. Inside these cylinders is a bacteria that literally eats ammonia and some of the heavy metal. Then it's off to more filters. This is um, our polishing sand filters. These are basically the same media that in these filters as what you would see in the other filters, but this is just the very end of the plant. The end of the plant, but not the end of the journey. That's reserved for a small waterfall outside of Lead, where the newly cleaned water mixes with natural water. Downstream, there's a lot of people that drink the water that comes off of this, and it will always already go all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Thousands of people drink the water. Livestock drink the water. And they're pumping out more than 930 gallons of it every minute, 24 hours a day. Above ground at the Sanford Underground Research Facility's Wastewater Treatment Plant, Kaylee Schmidt, Coda Territory News.